Hey guys, I'm Sarah, and this is Buckshot, and thank you for coming to another one of our videos. This is a little shippy little bit of adventure. She's a four-year-old, and she hasn't been working, so she's a little bonkers. Anyways, this is a halter VV video. I got this halter recently. I bought it from Ridge Creek Natural Horsemanship Tack. Um, it's a rope tack uh, company. It's pretty small, but they do very nice quality work. I got this halter by them. I have multiple items by them, but we're doing this halter and leave rope set today. I bought a turquoise halter with a turquoise and brown zigzag lead, and it's very nice. It's a little smaller diameter than um, than some other um, halters, you know, from like weave or ever. But I got this in a stiff, but with only two knots and quit instead of the four knots, so it doesn't have knots on the nose band which those can be extra harsh, but the stiff provides enough bump and enough um, enough pressure to control horse well. And um, it's, a very, it's a very pretty color. It's very, it's very good turquoise. It's already dirty because this goofball knocked it into the dirt and stepped on it. But this is a, this is very high feel um, lead rope. And actually the rope, this and the halter. It's a 9 16th. Um, I think it's poly rope, and it's a very, it has a very high feel, so it's great training lead. But I got it with the, without a clasp or anything. I just have it on the halter, halter knot here, and then I got it with brown poppers, which haven't been destroyed yet. What? I got this maybe two weeks ago, something like that. But um, it fits the horse very well. The knots are very good, and. Overall, I have nothing bad to say about it. The only thing I would say bad about these, which goes against what I just said, is I wish they would put a logo on them. Because at this point, anybody can go out and say, oh, well, I made this halter or whatever. When no, they didn't. This is actually made by another company. Um, so I, I highly recommend their products. It's, very, it's a very good and well, well done company. Their shipping is on point. Um, I got this in like two days after I sh got it shipped. So, so that was very nice. Um, this is a 10 foot lead. Now most lead ropes, 10 foot is fine. But with these, because it's a high feel, I like having a longer lead rope. Then if you have a horse being a bat like this one, then you can launch them, hey, with no problem. So I got this one previously with I think Black Friday sale. This is a 12 foot blue lead rope as I love blue. And then the poppers quit. I've already been destroyed. She likes to be the star. And I haven't had this in very long. It's sad. It's filthy. I got a twist snap on it. I like these. I figured I don't like them as much as I thought I did, but you know, you love and learn. Quit getting your nose in there. Quit. She just wants to be the star of the show today. Typical goofball. But this one is a 12 foot. I almost wish I had gotten 14 foot, but I've had a 14 foot lead in the past and it wasn't this quality material, so it was a pain in the rear. But I really like, um, I like this caliber of ropes and the like, because they have a lot of, they, like I said, they have a lot of really good feel. Now on some horses, they don't like snaps because sometimes they can pop them in the chin, but it really depends on how you use them. Um, but. I don't do that, so it's not a problem. This one is a 10 foot, but I wish I had gotten a 12 foot just for ease of handling because sometimes these tend to feel like they're shorter because of the high feel in it. It's really weird, actually. You wouldn't think so, but that's just that's the way I roll. And also, because this doesn't have a snap on it, that adds another extra inch or two. So, you're so silly. What is with you? She was chewing on the rope, so I decided to let her wear it. What are you doing? You're silly. Well, I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video. Let us like someone left the gate open.